Hi, my name's Isaac, and this is a brand new 2021 Ram 1500 Laramie Longhorn. And today, I'm gonna review it for you guys. You know, Laramie almost sounds like it could be a real person's name. You know, if a couple's picking out baby names and the mom really likes Jeremy, but the dad is a really big truck guy. Laramie, get over here right now. No, no dilly-dallying. Come here right now. Don't make me say your full name. <sighs> Laramie Longhorn Stevenson, you get over here right now or your Xbox privileges are gone for the next week. Before we begin, I want to thank Brown Dob Chrysler Jeep Dodge and Ram for allowing me to review this truck. For all your Chrysler Jeep Dodge or Ram needs, you can visit Brown Dob right off of Route 33 in Easton, Pennsylvania, or at their website, browndob.net. Honestly, I have no idea how I even remotely made that joke work. About a year ago, I was in the shower and I thought, hmm, Laramie kind of sounds like Jeremy. I should hold on to that. Yes, those are my shower thoughts. Anyway, I did hold on to it, and here we are today. I have a strange joke writing process. Regardless, moving on to the actual Laramie Longhorn itself, you'll have full LED headlights, LED turn signals, which are incorporated into your LED daytime running lights, and you'll also get LED fog lights down here. You'll have parking sensors across the front lower section of the grill, and then you'll have two big tow hooks. I think this particular Ram is one of the best looking full-size trucks on the market right now, and I think Ram knocked it out of the park in the looks department I don't think there's a bad angle on this 1500. Moving underneath the hood, this 1500 is powered by Ram's ever reliable 5.7 liter Hemi V8, making 395 horsepower and 410 pound feet of torque. And that is paired to an eight speed automatic transmission. It's also worth mentioning this is paired to an e-torque system, which is going to increase the towing of this quite substantially. We'll talk about that a little bit more when we get to the back. Moving to the profile of the Ram here, starting with the wheels and tires, you're gonna get 275-55R Bridgestone tires around these really nice 20-inch wheels. I think that's pretty good looking. And then moving up here, you'll get your 1500 Hemi badge with the e-torque logo. And then moving down here, in between takes, I've discovered a terrible thing. This is actually a limited Longhorn. I did not know that the Limiteds came in a Longhorn configuration. I thought they were only Laramie Longhorns. But the joke still stands. I'm not refilming the intro. Also, limit is not as funny. So there you go. This is actually a limited Longhorn, so it's slightly higher than the Laramie. But, you know, look, Lar Laramie's a trim. That truck says Laramie right there. And so joke still stands. Anyway, moving up here to the mirror, it is chrome right here with a turn signal indicator in it with the Ram logo. And then you'll get heating, blind spot monitoring, and a smaller blind spot mirror up here. And then down here, there is a light, like a puddle light, which is really nice. And then moving over here to the door handle, it is chrome accented with keyless entry. So you just tap that, it locks it, and then put your hand behind that and it will unlock it. Additionally, it will deploy power folding running boards when you open the doors, which is always really convenient. And then they will go back in automatically, which is also very nice to give you a more flush and higher ground clearance look. Moving to the rear back here, you'll have your blind spot monitoring incorporated into the taillight right there, and then another limited Longhorn badge rubbing it in my face that I got the intro wrong, but you all still laughed at it. Anyway, you'll get your Ram badge right here and a backup camera incorporated into the tailgate, and then down here you'll have parking sensors and dual exhaust. With the e-torque system, this can tow a maximum of 12,750 pounds. That's up from a little over 11,000 that it can normally tow, so that's really nice. And then opening the tailgate here, there is a button back here. It is dampened, very light aluminum tailgate, and it comes down, nice spray and bed liner, and then you are gonna get LED bed lights and some tie downs in here, which is always really cool to see. Before we fully move into the interior, I just wanted to highlight the key very quickly. In addition to lock, unlock, and remote start, this also has the ability to drop the tailgate, which is really convenient. 
Stepping into the interior here, starting with the door panel, this has to be one of the nicest trimmed trucks I have ever reviewed. I mean, the materials in here are amazing. Soft touch leather everywhere, even on places you're never gonna touch right here, but this is soft touch right here. And then you get this really nice real wood grain in here. It feels premium and very high quality. Everything in here feels very durable. Now you're gonna have your lock, unlock, your mirror controls, and you have power folding on the mirrors, which is also really nice to see. Always love to see that on these vehicles. And then you can just tap that and they'll fold right back out. Then stepping inside here, you'll have your lighting controls, power adjusting pedals so you can move them forward or backward if you want, depending on your height, and then an electronic parking brake. And of course, this is going to have power seats with power lumbar support. And look at how nice these things are. Oh my goodness. And you'll get the limited Longhorn, again, taunting me, stitched into the seat right there. And also this really nice badge in the center armrest. I mean, this thing is so nicely equipped. I mean, it feels incredibly premium. You even have stitching on the driver's side grab handle. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if it's gonna focus. It does, there's stitching on the driver's side grab handle, which is really nice. Come on, buddy, there we go. And then closing the door here and turning the truck on. Turn the steering wheel into its regular position right here. Honestly, don't know how I missed that it. it said limited. It's literally plastered everywhere around the truck. You are gonna get a very nice um, center gauge cluster screen in here. And so, how do I turn the AC off? There we go. And you, you are gonna get a very nice gauge cluster screen in here. It's gonna give you your traditional stuff, your tack, your speedometer, everything like that. And then you can do your navigation, your messages, your radio, audio, everything like that. So that's always really cool to see. And then you're gonna get these really premium high quality gauges. Like look at the, just uh, the chrome like around here. It's just so, so high quality. Feels like a real cowboy truck, if I'm being honest. And then you get this really nice wood grain on the steering wheel and then lower down here, you also get it with the black and the brown stitching. Oh, so incredible in here. This has got to be the most premium feeling truck interior I've ever been in, hands down. And then you'll have your engine start stop. You'll have your drive mode selector. I know it's a dial. People don't like the dial. So basically you spin this and it clicks into place for each uh, drive mode, which is always good and i mean it's got a very solid feel people just like they prefer the center tunnel or the column shifter but it's very quick to get used to this you'll also have your uh, four-wheel drive and your two-wheel drive settings right there and your engine auto start stop if you come to traffic light traffic lights it'll start and stop your engine automatically to preserve some fuel economy now that we're in reverse if we step up here to the screen very quick you can see an incredibly high quality backup camera on here with the ability to zoom and it does have parking lines so that is always really cool and then you can see this 12 inch infotainment system splits the screen so you can have your mirror dimmer your auto deploying steps your heated and cooled seats right here always really nice to have those features and then if you want we're gonna put it back in park it's gonna go back to having the radio right here and you can actually set up what you want in each spot. So if you want the navigation in one spot, you can have that on the lower section or the upper section. It's really, really cool and a really neat feature with functionality. And so I love to see that. So we can do this, select bottom card, navigation. So then you know I can say where to and uh, or you could do comfort stuff like that really really nice very responsive this uconnect system but another thing i really like is in addition to having your climate built in there you also do have some physical climate buttons on the sides i always prefer to see uh, physical climate buttons than just all digital ones and then you'll have your hazards up here a ram logo and a little 12 volt and then you're going to have a harman and Kardon audio system in here moving down here you get your trailer towing and your trailer steering controls right here, uh, your parking sensors, your traction control off and your tow haul mode. And then you're also gonna get USBs, USB-C and auxiliary. This also has a wireless charger built in and then a movable uh, storage bin right here, which is really cool. So if you open this up, you can see that there it all, I don't know what rolls is. Maybe they're supposed to put rolls in here. Maybe you get those for free with your truck. I don't know, I can't promise that. That's a Jeep key I threw in there. Oop. 
Okay, that's gonna go over there. But down here, we actually can see we have a household outlet. So that's really nice. And then these also do open up. Wow, these are, this is a treasure trove of stuff in here. Um, nice little coin storage area. And the materials on this is really, really high quality. Feels really nice. Just absolutely love it in here. And if we move over, you can see our glove box. It's got Laramie Longhorn like burned into the thing. That is so cool. And the material and stitching in here is just bar none. I mean, this is just so amazing. As I said in the beginning, Ram really knocked it out of the park, not only with the exterior look, but also this interior feel. I mean, this thing is incredible. By far, they have the nicest interiors of all trucks right now. Moving up here, you do have a button for power sliding rear window, and you can also drop your tailgate from up here. Surprisingly, no sunroof in this limited Longhorn. That's actually one of the reasons I thought it was a Laramie is because this does not include it. Normally the limiteds almost always have that, at least the ones I've reviewed. I guess that is an option though if you do not want the panoramic sunroof. Moving to the rear seats in the Longhorn, starting down here with the Ram bin, you can open this up and you'll have some storage in here. But what's really nice is if you wanna put like ice and drinks in here, you can actually take this bin out and then dump it out, which is really nice. Always convenient to have something like that. And then you can fold the seats up here for a flush load floor, which is again, a really great feature. And you have leg room for days back here. So you could fit tons of plywood back here if your bed's already full of stuff, really, really useful. Putting the seats back down quickly, another really amazing feature on this is that this has reclining seats. So what you can do is you can grab this handle and then you can pull and that will actually recline the seats a little bit. You can see how much further it goes and you'll still have tons of leg room, but that's at a much better angle, especially for longer road trips. Stepping inside here and closing the door, in the center here, you're gonna have even more amenities. In addition to climate vents and USBs, you're also gonna get heated and ventilated seats back here. That's incredibly rare on the segment. So nice to see the ventilated seats for the rear passengers. And you're also gonna get a household outlet. So really, really nice back here. And then you do have the ability to fold this forward for a little armrest with its own storage and two cup holders. So so cool it is probably the best place to be on a long road trip i'd take this even above some luxury cars because of the space that it has back here and how airy and roomy it is let's take this thing for a spin all righty driving the ram 1500 limited longhorn this thing is very smooth and you know being so big you think it would be kind of chunky or difficult to drive but honestly this thing's very sporty it floats really well around corners and it just handles overall quite well very responsibly on the gas so the handling is phenomenal in this truck it's very smooth to drive and the interior comfort is bar none it is fantastic and it's gonna get all your jobs done. I mean, I'd be nervous to actually throw stuff into the bed like mulch and logs and stuff because I wouldn't want to scratch the paint or come in here and, you know, scratch the leather with my keys or anything because it's so nice. But this is really the best of, of all the worlds. It's a luxury car. It's a truck that hauls. It's a family mover. It's so crazy how trucks have become the multi-purpose vehicle now you know like they are the everything vehicle and i think it's great because i love trucks and it's so cool and this one this is at, at the top right now i don't have an official list i don't have you know uh this is the best this is not but but currently in interior quality in performance and with what it can do payload and towing wise this is my number one pick if I were, if I had all the money in the world. So that's basically gonna conclude this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I realize I've been looking at my camera screen and not actually at the lens of the camera, which is you. And uh, I really appreciate it. If you could like and subscribe, that would really help my channel out quite a bit. And I am a Christian, so if you have any prayer requests, you can leave those in the comment section below. And I like to do a weekly Bible verse, so here that is. With that, I'll take off, guys, and I'll see you next time.